there's a lot of information, a lot of books out there on digital fabrication uh, that tend to be very, uh, very pie in the sky. You know, the very like, oh, you know, materials of digital fabrication and beautiful projects, amazing ideas. But the reality is, is when you really get down to it, each of the people that are usually presenting, they're only presenting maybe two or three projects, most of which are not that critical, you know, they're doing like a wavy cool wall in a lobby or like really cool light fixture or something like that. And so when you start, we, we've done a lot of like actual construction using digital fabrication and we have a lot of friends in the industry at much bigger companies than us that are doing like, you know, full curtain walls that are completely digitally fabricated on the outside of the building. They're like most structural building steel now for big uh, like hospitals and big buildings like this convention center that we're in. Most of that steel is being made in a very digital fabricated way. You know, giant plasma CNC machines are, are cutting beams directly from a 3D model that are then barcoded and shipped out to site. Everything just bolts together to go together, right? So the steel industry, the HVAC people doing duct work, all of those guys are already working the way using digital fabrication that have been for the last couple of years. So we have friends in those industries that we talk to that are doing really incredible groundbreaking stuff. It's just, you know, the, the, the digital fabrication academic world doesn't really hang out with those guys, so they don't really know that a lot of what they're talking about is being possible someday is happening right now all over the place. <laughs> you know, it's just happening in this other context, you know. And so so a lot we get a lot of information from from that world as well.